Rob Dre, Matt Millis, Michael Meeker, the management team of Taunton Town Football Club. We're in. First round proper of the FA Cup. How does that feel? Yeah, it's quite mental. It's quite mad. Um, thoroughly deserved. It's all about the players and what they did tonight. You know, we had uh, illness, injuries, um, and we played the very best version of Yeovil tonight. Make no mistake, and it should have been at least two or three. Um, you know, we were very good in how we were out of possession. Counter-attacking was superb. Shake was magnificent. Um, and they put everything out there tonight, those players. Absolutely everything. Um, and I'm very, very proud. Two and a half thousand in here as well. And uh, it's a great night. And you don't get many nights like this in football, so you've got to enjoy them. And we'll look forward to NK Don's away. And that will be a, be a great day. Mm. Do you think of it as, in terms of, I suppose, making history, uh, this is the fourth time that, that Taunton have, have managed to get into the first round proper. Absolutely. Is that something you guys think about? Absolutely. It's history makers. You know, and you can look back when we're old and sat in our wheelchairs and won't be long for you <laughs> um, and think, look, we've achieved something. And I just said to both of these, what have we done? You know, what have we done? We've got promoted and we've got to see FA Cup first round in six months. You know, it's a magnificent achievement, but it's not just up. It's not about us. It's, it's more them. It's the people off the pitch here. You know, we are one of the smallest clubs in the National League. So to do what we've done has been uh, it's a magnificent effort for everybody. And we've had a, we've had a, f a few hard weeks, you know, with our with with our goalkeeping coach. You know, he's, had, he's he's having a tough time at the moment. Carl's had a really tough time at the moment. So you know, it just picks everybody else up. Yeah, one 0 going into the breaks. That that's how the game uh, ended as well. What were the words going into to, to the players at half time? Just as it as it was. You know, we had a good shape last game. Didn't change much. Guestley come in. I thought our middle three was on the front foot. And like Ron said, we could have. Listen, it weren't lucky tonight. It weren't, you know, well done, Taunton. We we thoroughly deserved that and could have won by more. Um, really good result. Uh, we're just thinking when we beat MK Dons, maybe Bristol City at home or somewhere like that. But really good tonight. We're going to enjoy a beer. Ron's just told me in MV we're getting a nice big bonus. <laughs> so that'd be lovely. And then uh, we travel down to MK Dons, hopefully on the Friday. And uh, yeah, absolutely fantastic for all the fans. And, and to be honest, on a serious note, it's not like me, never like me, but on a serious note, we did that tonight for Connor, uh, as Ron said, having a bad time. Uh, Cole, who's had a dreadful time as well. And, um, you know, it's, it's not all about football. It's about thinking of people out there and, and today it, it, it was magnificent for everyone and we were on the right high just had a photos done over there which was lovely and uh, we move on yeah it's fantastic and I suppose you guys are, are proud of the players out there playing the best that Yeovil can offer I think in the competitive aspect it's been what since 1996 or something like that that, that Taunton have beaten Yeovil it must be proud and you must be proud of the players incredibly proud incredibly proud you know that it is is a really proud moment for all of us. Um, well enjoyed tonight and I want the boys to enjoy tomorrow but um, we got Worthing away on Saturday mm. and then Oxford next Tuesday and you know that's our bread and butter it's really important that we you know we get some points in the league. Um, it's a welcome diversion but I'll get back to it on Saturday and Tuesday. Fantastic back to the league that's uh, that seems to be the main thing for you don't you know enjoy your wins don't get too low and just we move. Absolutely, you know, you, in, in the National League, you can quite easily go and lose three or four or five on the banks without no problem at all mm. in quick succession. So, you know, we need to be good Saturday because obviously they're, they've done really, really well, promoted, only lost once. So, yeah, you know, we'll calm down a little bit and then we'll um, we'll try and carry this momentum into Saturday, Tuesday, which is the big thing for us. Like, you know, we can't let our scales down by going there and not getting anything. And Billis, any closing comments from, from yourself? I'm just proud, really proud. Um, it's, it's one of the highest points of uh, me, Rob, and Meeks being here. And obviously, as they have, uh, Meeks said, you know, it's massive for Cons as well. He's been a vital part of this coaching staff. And um, obviously, what he's going through. Hopefully, this will, in some part, in some part, in some way, pick him up. Um, but yeah, that, well, that's what absolutely meant today. It was no, no um, fluke that we won this. It was over 180 minutes, and um, we were better in both both games. Um, so yeah, superb. To, to be honest, look, listen, it's not a fluke us getting into this league as well. We've had to work our socks off the last few years. We've been here a long time now, us three, and getting in this league, getting in this FA Cup, you know, everyone keeps saying, oh, talking this, talking that. So it's not. We put in a lot of hard work and we're going to put in a lot more hard work. And we, we, you know, we're not going to settle for, 
for you know we're aiming to finish in the top half of this league. We're not going to settle for anything less. And like we said, we can go and beat MK Dons. Probably not, but <laughs> <laughs> keep going. Appreciate it. Thanks, guys. Cheers, boys. Cheers. 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 Cheers.